Hello, hello. And here we are. To find, they found the missing package that toured, <laughs> toured all the Georgia facilities. And now I get to open my Easter egg that I got from Kendra that has been missing because originally it was listed as being delivered on the 29th of March, which it was not. Hi, Flutter. And I had to go back to the postal post office to find um, website to find out what was going on with this. And they updated it and said it was still wandering around Georgia. Atlanta specifically. My package is like touring all the facilities in Atlanta. So I'd gotten this Easter egg from Kendra and my phone has decided to lock up again. I should do a test run with this and lock up my let it lock up my phone so I can unlock my phone because it does this more than once. Make me restart this whole app. And that's okay, I got this. But as I was saying, the, the um, box took a tour of all the Atlanta facilities because it had nothing better to do. After this live, I am going to have to restart my phone because it's saying that my phone is being used but my flashlight's being used by another app, and that's why it won't let me do anything with it. So I'm going to move this, crack it, and we see that there's it's loaded with goodies. Because what else should an egg hold but an egg? An egg should hold an egg. <laughs> and it does. Cute. And I just felt that when Kendra, when I get a package from Kendra, it deserves to be on, well, when I get a package, it deserves to be opened and people to see. And look at this, isn't this cute? It's a squishy, it's a foam squishy. How cute, how cute is that? And this one, as you can see, it tells you it's slime. Hi, Lisa Jackson. Yeah, it, I just think it's funny that my package is like to tour Atlanta facilities. And this one has confetti with it. Hmm. Ooh, this one is a this one is not a slime slime, that's for sure. But it is a slime. It's not a runny slime. And that's okay. Because I am in my um, 
work area and the last thing I need is a slimy slime. I am okay. Um, been dealing with a little bit of a headache. Actually, it's been a little bit more than a little headache. But I will survive. Um, the pollen is fallen in this area and it is getting to me. An egg contains an egg. <laughs> and now I have another stress ball. Good exercise for my hands. Little pair of buns. It is what it is. I will survive it. Um, it is the nature of the beast um, around here. I have always had issues with weather. So I get what I call my weather headaches. This is a through egg. Egg egg. Don't know what I'm going to do with all these eggs yet. And because one slime wasn't enough. This one appears to have the same texture as the other one. It's nice and cool down. Hi, Diana. I'm exploring my Egg, my nested Easter eggs and Kendra. At least I know what this stuff's good for. It's good for picking up glitter. And so that's what it may get used for glitter pickup. This one has a unicorn inside. Yay, unicorn. Perfect things, purple and unicorn. Two purple, two perfect things. And if you disagree with me, I'm sorry. <laughs> this one is a little bit more textured, you know, runnier. Give me that unicorn. Two best things on earth. Purple and you, well, okay, they're not the only things that are good on earth, but yeah. That is a cute little unicorn. Cute little white sitting unicorn. You haven't gotten your Easter package either, Diana. I don't know what's going on with the post office and their inability to get things to us on time.
This stuff feels good in my hands, so. though. Feels good to play with it. <laughs> And just sit there and be still. Tap it down. See, I can play with this kind of stuff forever. Put it in different shapes and sizes. Different shapes. Figure out things I can put it in. And make it take shapes. A unicorn. Squishy, squishy, squishy. I like this one. Hi, Kendra. Hi, Jennifer. Yeah, I love unicorns. I've been collecting unicorns for quite some time. Um, I have quite a few. So I've always loved my unicorns. And purple is my birthstone. So, but yeah, I got like stress relief. I'm going to move these in there with my desk so when I'm working on projects, I can work out both of my hands at the same time. Because sitting at a desk doesn't mean I can't do something to work out a little bit, right? Work those muscles, work those muscles. Make my squishy squish together. I'd gotten excited that this was going to arrive before Easter. So I was going to do a quick little Easter stream. Yeah, and then it didn't. <laughs> but I know at 6.30, Emma is going to be on and she's going to have a special guest on her channel, so I don't want to interrupt that. But I did want to come on and show off these cute, that is just so cute. I think he's going to sit on the shelf with my other little unicorns, even though he's not um, a rock, crystal, or gem. He is a plastic based little fella. That doesn't mean he doesn't deserve to be beautiful, looked at as though he is so beautiful. So he will go on the shelf just because he's cute. Cute little fella. And this stuff, I might keep it around too for when I open Kendra packages. Or one of these because they do pick up um, glitter. They take care of glitter. Have a happy birthday tomorrow, Lisa. And Diana. Diana loves the unicorns also. Me fondling things? That's Kendra's job. I squishy. 
cute. He's got yellow and purple hair. And he is a nice light blue-green. Cute little tail. My Tahoe is at the shop. The transmission guy has about 20 other vehicles to look at. And the only way they can put your vehicle in line to be fixed is to um, hold on to it. So they're going to run the diagnostics. And then he'll look at it and tell me, they'll call me and tell me um, what it's going to take to fix it. I am hoping it is just the thermostat. Um, the Tahoe, and I'm sure other vehicles as well, not only has an engine thermostat, it also has a thermostat for the transmission. And I did my research, and in for the 2018 Tahoes, it is known that sometimes the um, thermostat for the transmission goes out, uh, which means that it is not regulating the temperature in the transmission well. And when that happens, you get nice dingy lights that come up on your dash that says, pull over and let your transmission cool down. It says transmission overheating, pull over and let your transmission cool. Um, not fun. And the fact that we did it immediately every time that that alarm went off is a good thing. And we have driven minimally with this issue. Um, because it started on the way home from Texas. And we had to finish driving at home or be stuck. Um, so we did. We drove it home and just kept stopping. And then my husband drove it to go deliver the stuff that was in the trailer to the two people who had stuff in the trailer. And to return the trailer. And that's it. We haven't driven the Tahoe any other time since then. Other than me driving it to the shop today. But luckily I did not wait to get food. Um, to Topher and I went to Waffle House and sat down and ate because I had not eaten all day. And so we stopped and had a nice little lunch, brunch, whatever you want to call it. It was around 1130, so he had an egg, a breakfast. It has egg and meat and toast and grits and a waffle. And I chose a burger, cheeseburger deluxe with bacon. And hash browns. So we did that. And had some coffee. <laughs> before we went on to the shop. And the people at the shop drove us back home. Hi Marsha. Marsha, we know that there is a surprise guest going on Emma's Live, and that surprise guest absolutely is directly related to Barbara. We do know that. Yep, 6.30 tonight. I will be over there. And I am also deciding if I am going to take the video that she that has now been deleted from yesterday, play it on my live, and address it. 
kind of a reaction video. And allow anyone that was called out in that video Um, allowing anyone that was called out in the video to come on and address what she said about them. But it has to be limited to addressing exactly what was said on that video and not going off on a tangent because I don't need that. A um, few exceptions for who would be allowed on. And Barbara herself is welcome to come on, but she must be polite and not attack people. Because she is not blocked. And Wolf is not blocked. It absolutely is lots of tea, Jennifer. It is someone that has been for the last two years lying and changing their story constantly. Um, you know, and we have videos to back up the lies where She'll say one thing and then she'll say something totally different on a different video. Because one of the things that she does is she deletes her videos. Like last night, her video was not still up an hour after she went offline. But deleted doesn't mean gone. Not in this world of technology. Deleted is not gone. Trust me, I know. Oh, that's right. I have a copy of that video in its entirety, with the exceptions as I don't copy the, I don't have the comments. But I do have every word she spoke from the beginning to the end. Because I have people and I have technology on my side. There were people recording it in its entirety from the moment she went live. I don't know if we want scones. I might throw them. I might have to throw them at somebody. I has people. Of course I do, Kendra. You has people too. I know of at least three people have a copy of that video. At least three. So you can go to the Boston Public Library and have a British tea service complete with sandwiches and sweets. Oh. Oh. 
please do so, free spirit. I would love to see her proof. Because I know the proof I've seen. I know the proof I've shown. Um, not on my channel, but I have shown proof on Two Leaves in a Pod's channel. Um, of stuff like the shat like Shadow Runner's video where Shadow Runner showed her proof on a live um, of the charges, the hotel charges. And I have shown that I do still have his knife. And I addressed what I was doing about that. It's not my fault she doesn't watch and pay attention. I guess I should probably just do it after I finish this um, shoe purse and get it over with. Get it sent back where they have to sign for it because if they refuse to sign for the package, then they won't get it. Because that's basically where I am right now. Um, I'm just, I'm tired from it. Very, very tired from it. I may want to address a couple of things that she said that are not in that video, but what she has said in other videos. But one of the things I can show is how deleted doesn't mean gone. No, I have not, Marsha. I've been um, working on getting this shoe purse out that is behind schedule because of the garrison caps. I believe, Flutter, I believe she deleted the video yesterday because she said a lot. And a lot of what she said conflicts things that she said recently. And conflicts the facts of what we know and what we have seen. So I'm really thinking about addressing this. Jennifer, I think she is a lonely old lady. Older lady. Um, she has made comment before that when she was young, she had to pretend she had friends and she would make up elaborate stories with her, about her friend, her and her friends, because she didn't have real friends. 
And now she doesn't have to do that because she has her internet friends. The problem is she kept on making up stories. Um, and she spun quite a few lies, blatant lies. She would take on the medical conditions of other people. Um, I mean, I noticed that when I made a comment about the one time I had an episode with diverticulitis. I have diverticulitis. I will have it all my life. But I've had one episode from it where I was um, in extreme pain and, ha and I went to the clinic to find out what was going on. And that's how I found out I had it. And, you know, they told me what I could no longer, what I should no longer eat if I want to avoid having these episodes of, diverti of diverticulitis acting up and which could cause me deeper problems later. Um, and, you know, we've noticed that she picks up the health things of other people. Um, if someone got, you know, announced that they had gotten out of the hospital with a stroke, it's not far behind that she has a stroke. She's had a stroke and been in the hospital for a stroke. Um, we have, I know, we know several people that have had, that have battled cancer, some still battling cancer. And then all of a sudden she has cancer. She has cancer in her nasals column. She has cancer in her kidneys and she has cancer here and she has cancer there and she has cancer, cancer everywhere. Um, and, and she has the TIAs and the PVCs or whatever the heck she said they were. Um, and she said she had the, conge the congestive heart failure. Um, and she made it sound like it's a, like it's an episode. I don't want to do this because I don't want to have the congestive heart failure. Um, the reality is if she has congestive heart failure, she has it. And she will have it for the rest of her life. It's not something that goes away. Um, it's kind of like diabetes. You have it and you can control it if you do the work. And then if you screw up, you have bad episodes that appear with, um, I know what it sounds like when someone has congestive heart failure and they have not cared for themselves proper. I know what it sounds like when they need to go to the hospital. It is not something you play around with. But she has a tendency to um, just not tell full truths. Um, you know, she has made comment that she was Native American, Indigenous American, and that she made Native chokers. Well, if you're saying I am a Native American and I make chokers and I have a card stating that I am Native, that means that those chokers are authentic native made chokers. She believes by not saying the word authentic, that that makes it okay if she's not really native American. And that's just not true because if you say I am native American, and that's true with any group of people. If you say, I am Italian and I am making spaghetti, then you're making authentic Italian spaghetti, right? Because you're Italian and you're making spaghetti. Um, and she doesn't see it that way, but that is the way it is. Um, but she has conned and finagled people into buying things by stating that she was native and that she had her card 
And one of the things is, is that if you are an indigenous American and you have your card stating you're indigenous and you are making wares that you sell, then at any given time, a person can say, I want to see your card. And by law, you have to show it. She has never shown her card, even though people have requested to see it. She claims it's locked away in a vault in Washington, D.C. At a, at a bank. Now she claims there's no way for her to go get it. So she's reapplying for a brand new card. I don't know if she has a drop of indigenous blood in her or not. I have not done her family tree. But the fact is, she's backpedaling on those um, things. And she's saying that she never said they were authentic. She said they were native style. And that's not true. There are numerous people who heard her words where she said, I mean, there's even a video where she tells people, these are real native made chokers. They're made by native people. All you have to do is tell people these are made by native people, but you don't have to tell them who made them. There's a video of her saying these things. And she creates situations to make it sound like she's having more drama in her life than what really exists, in my opinion. Um, she claims people are constantly sending stuff to her house. I don't know if that's true or not. Or maybe when it started, it may not have been true. She claims that she is adopted. Um, but she also claims to know her actual lineage. And yes, Jennifer Mason, you nailed it. A wind feather. And I know exactly what you're talking about. No one else here does, but that's okay. I can explain it to them later. Um, you know, it's, she calls the guy she's with, they call him Moon Wolf. His name is Rick. Um, you know, they, she calls that her husband. And in reality, her and Rick have never been legally married. Never. What she told me which I cannot prove because it was in a phone call, is that they cannot get legally married or he loses his income because he gets paid to care for her and what she refers to as her ex-husband. But I have never seen an actual divorce decree from her or from anyone else that re researched it. And, you know, people are saying that she is still married to the man that lives next door to her. Um, but Wolf gets paid, he's a, is a paid caretaker. He was a truck driver and he quit drug, truck driving and is a care caretaker. One At one time she told me that he got paid to take care of her and her ex-husband. So he was caretaking two people. And that if they got married, that they would lose that. And I know on one of the trips to Florida, she delayed the trip by a day because he needed to put in hours while still in Louisiana in order to get paid. I do not think common, you, you can't get common law married if you're already married.
And yeah, Phil, CPR, you just said it. Um, you, she supposedly Wolf is her, is EJ's caretaker. However, she also talks about how EJ lives in a roach and rat, rat infested house that is totally filthy. And if Wolf is his caretaker, that means Wolf's not doing his job. Because even if Wolf is not responsible for the housekeeping, he is the caretaker, so it is his responsibility to report that they need someone to come clean the house. So it becomes a vicious, you know, a vicious circle there. Um, it makes me concerned about EJ's well-being. That if he really is suffering from dementia, then there's a possibility he is being taken advantage of. Windfeather is a name that is used by a person that claimed forever to be of indigenous roots until they got their DNA testing done and found out they did not even have one drop in their blood. But yet they still use the name and still claim heritage for something they know they're not. And it's someone that Jennifer and I knows. Yeah, I don't know beyond that. But this person had several people I know that are of indigenous blood. Basically trying to take them under wing to help them along in their journey to later find out they are not indigenous. <laughs> and, you know, hearing them say, you know, well, I've been a fraud. I've been a fraud. We were, I was friends with this person at one time. And then they turn around and they're still, you know, playing their indigenous games as though they are indigenous, even though they know for a fact they're not. And it's just that conniving, scamming behavior. I agree, Phil. Someone does, someone needs to call for a welfare check on EJ. And, you know, I only can go by, I go by what my father and mother have told me. Um, I know on my mother's side, as far back as she has gone, there has been one indigenous person in the family, but not in my bloodline. Because I had an uncle who was a whore, and he basically, every time a wife died, he married another one of a different race. Um... And so he married multiple women. And one of them was um, from one of the tribes down there in Mississippi. Um, and I would have to research. My mom has it written down on an index card in the file box. Um, I need to get that from my sister so I can scan it. But um, she was, mom said she was the chieftain's daughter. And at one time, their tribe owned Cat Island down in Mississippi. And they also owned the property where the University of Southern Mississippi Long Beach campus is. And that when you go to the property, if you find the old kitchen area, it's basically a fireplace, um, the hearth of the fireplace. 
that that is where their house was. My father says that we do have some indigenous blood. I have never done a DNA test, which I need to do. And, you know, I, pro I, I will just because um, I don't even know if, if I am, if it's far, if, how far down the bloodline is it might be so far down the bloodline it doesn't show it might show just a drop i don't know <laughs> um i i think i should take multiple types of dna testing just out of curiosity but i am also not going to run around saying i am something i can't prove that i am and that i won't prove that i am and not by showing pieces of family trees where my name isn't directly linked to anyone. If I'm going to show you a family tree, it's going, it's going to be a legit family tree, not one someone made up. And see, that's the thing is on Ancestry.com, I can go in and make up whatever family tree I want. That doesn't show proof of anything. So, you know, in order, but I still would have to have that report that shows it, that has my name on it, um, before I would say, you know, hey, look, I really do. But for me, I don't believe in any one of the DNA testings, so therefore I would have to do multiple DNA testings and um, cross-check them. It, and it's the nature of the work I do. So, yeah. And it is now 630. So I'm not going to keep you. And again, this was what I got from Kendra. From my Easter basket that took a tour of the Atlanta facilities of the post office. This cute little unicorn was in this slime. These two slimes, which are much thicker slimes, which are great for picking up glitter. And I've got these little stress eggs here. Which I'm going to take upstairs and put by my work computer. And then I have a unicorn stress egg. Who will go to my unicorn shelf in my bedroom? Because I do have um, stuff with unicorns on it in there. And he'll probably sit in there and see if I can protect him from the cats stealing him because they will tear him to pieces. And this little fellow will go sitting on my, um, in with, he'll be sitting somewhere in rocks, in the rocks, crystals and gems with some of my other small unicorns just because I can. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice, Jennifer, where you're owed a bunch of money? Yes, that would be lovely. Absolutely lovely. So I am happy that I got my Easter late, <laughs> but I got my Easter egg anyway. I had candy in the last box and I ate it all because... We didn't go out and get Easter candy this year. I'm dealing with vehicles being the way they are. I am going to have to tell my husband he's going to have to drive his car even though it's acting up because mine's in the shop. But I am going to let you guys all go. Hi, Shell. Yes, Shell, you are like paper white. And to say that you have any kind of African is funny. Because 
your paper white. <laughs> You're so pale. Now it looks like my unicorn has wings over here. He has little heart wings. He's still right there. He has his little heart wings. Oh, didn't last. He's not an angel after all. And so I am going to call it a night. I said it was a quick one. It is a quick one. I am going to pop over to Emma and see the excitement going on over there. Um, let me see. I believe I have her do. If you want to go see the call out, this is where you can find us. We're going to pop on over there and see what's going on. I may go come on tomorrow and do some sewing. I'll be doing some sewing during Emma's live. So I hope you all have an absolutely fabulous week and continue to be kind to yourself, be kind to others, do random acts of kindness. Um, prayers up for those who need them and want them. Positive energy to everyone, whether they think they need it or not. And I will see you all later. Bye for now.